Welcome back. How are you all? To another video. This time not on X lookup. On the power query. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to see my friends. How to extract the names and numbers. From a given set of a data. And this data. Need to be transformed. Into this way. So let's do it. So let us first convert this data into Excel tables. Control T. Yes, my table has headers. So now it is into the Excel tables. Let us give our table a nice name. My data. Once your data is converted into Excel tables, all you need to do is load it into the Power Query. Go to data and from table slash range. So that will load the data into Query Editor. The Query Editor has automatically applied this change step. So we can just remove this step because we don't want to apply any step right now. So our data is loaded into the query editor and now we are going to go to the add column and add an index number to this one. The reason why I've added the index number to identify the row number of my data. So now we are going to split all these characters into each row and we are going to write a little bit of M that will allow us to extract that information. So let's go to the custom column. And in this custom column, we are going to say split rows. So we are going to call a function text to list. And as soon as I wrote text, this is a new intelligence feature, which we have it in Power Query. So it has given me all the combination matching related to the text. Dot to list. And open parentheses. And we are going to call this column name. So we are just saying under this column, whatever the names are there, just convert them into a list. And let me show you what the magic has happened. So this has been converted into a list and every character has been broke down into each row. Now we need to convert this list into table. So there are two ways to do it. I can either go to the custom column, add a new column and call this function table from list. Or I can just simply go to the same step and I can wrap that information over here. And I can just select table from list by hitting the tab key open the parentheses and again close. So make sure that you close the parentheses correctly. If the formula is okay, it will give you a green tick mark or if it is not, then you might get a warning message like this. So let's say okay and voila. All the list has been converted into the table. And now we are just simply going to expand this table and we are going to say okay, wow. So now if you see all the characters have been split into the rows. So this is our helper column right now. And we are going to make a duplicate copy of our helper column. Just by going to add column and make a duplicate column. And now this duplicate copy column, we are going to convert and change the data type to whole numbers. So now we saw these are the errors. And the errors is nothing but wherever there are alphabets, it has given me the error. This is exactly what we want. Now let's go to transform columns, select this column one and make sure that you replace this errors to null. This looks good now. Now let's go and add a conditional column. Let us give this column a nice name as names. And we are going to select the copy of column one. Okay, which is equals to null. Then in that case, return me the column one. So wherever it is null, return me that column one. Now I can't write just straight away column one over here. There's a small drop down list over here and I have an option to select the column. Then again, I have a drop down list for selection and I can just simply select this column one or else if it doesn't match, then return me as null. Wonderful. So we have our names and numbers are separated over here Now let us join these names together. Now we need to combine the names into one row and that's the place where this index number will be very helpful for us. So we're just going to select the index number and we're going to select the original name. Go to transform group by. In the group by, I would just make sure that I move this index number first. So that's my line number basically. And then I need to group it by the name. Let's give the column name as joint names and we are just simply going to sum. 
Ah, you must be surprised why I'm putting a sum. I'll just show it to you what is the reason behind that. And we will select the name column. The name column is basically the one which we have constructed over here right now. Only just the names, not the numbers. And we'll say OK. So we got these errors over here. Now just go to your formula bar. In case if your formula bar is not activated, go to view and just select the formula bar. Make sure that this has been checked. And now go to your formula bar and just simply replace this list.sum text.combine. So text.combine. So this is a function which allows you to combine the text. Now we need to tell what is a separator over here. But in our case, there is no separator. We are just going to say comma and just we are put, going to put a quotes over here, which means a blank. And now when we will hit enter, boom. And now we got all the names over here. And now we are going to go to transform and make sure that my column has been selected to joint names. And now here we are going to say delimiter from lower to upper case. And we got the first name and the last name. Yes. So I'm going to call this as my first name. And this is my last name. And this is the most easiest way to extract the number in the power query. So let's go to add column now. I'm just going to select the custom column. But wait my friends, before that, I'll show you what I'm going to do in that custom column. Right click, new, and just go a new query. You don't need to do this step, but I'm just showing it to you. What I'm going to generate is basically the numbers zero, to nine so that will generate me the list of numbers over here zero to nine and these are the numbers what we need to extract let me delete this query from here and okay delete let's go to our original query and now we will go to add column custom column and we're going to call this column as date of birth year and now we are going to call this function, which is text.select. Open parentheses, and I'm going to select the name column, which has my numbers, comma. And now I'm going to generate that series of number from zero to nine. And close parentheses, there is no syntax error has been detected. Cross your fingers, my friends, and hit OK. Oops, we got an error, my friends. The reason why we got this error, because these are the text numbers, so I have to make sure that I put them in the quotes so that can generate the text series now. And now when I will hit OK, boom, we got the numbers over here. Wow. And just turn it the whole number and we don't need this index number, but just it's good to sort it in ascending. And now we can delete it. Right click, remove column. Go to home, close and load to existing worksheet. Yes, and just go and place it over here. Smart boy, you are my boy. Now what happens if you add a new data? Will it break my friend? <laughs> will it? No Zenzo, it will not break. In fact, it will work very smoothly. So control V, that's my new data. I'll go to my query, right click, and just hit refresh. Boom, wow, that's the beauty of the Power Query. So that's how we can extract the names and numbers separately with the help of the Power Query. Wow, that was really cool. So my friends, I hope you have enjoyed, enjoyed a lot with me and my friend Faraz. So make sure that you don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to our channel and do let us know in the comment section what do you have to say about this video. If you have any queries, feel free to ask because I am going to come soon. <laughs> Take care and bye.